Today we would be learning about menu planning. I am Chef Aditya Saxena from Chitrala School of Hospitality. So we would be learning about the objectives of menu planning. The first is to satisfy guests' expectation. It could be either due to age or economic status. Now, when we would be you know uh, planning a menu, those menus which are meant to cater students would be generally costing less, whereas those who are uh, you know targeting the business class would be having a cost increase in the districts. Economic status again, student would be won't be you know, going to eat in a much expensive restaurant, whereas those who are you know, working class working and they are generally getting paid. They generally they can go for uh, a bit expensive food just to satisfy the status symbol. The next point is marketing objective. It should be guest desire, appropriate price, market competition. The marketing objective of menu planning is that the menu should be as per the guest desire, what he wants to eat. What are the general trends of eating in the market? What all dishes are there that people love to eat? Then, the appropriate pricing should be there. It shouldn't burn the hole inside the pocket of the guests. Then, the menu should be competitive to the market. The by competitive should it should give a reasonable uh, competition to the uh, competitors that I am serving so many dishes and I have got a reasonable price. Please compete me if you can. The next is to achieve quality. Now, quality food is a tool of marketing, as true as it is. If you have a quality food and it is a consistent quality, the customer will come again. Menu must have balance in flavor, nutritional value, color, and IMP. It should have a balance of flavor. It should have a nutritional value. There should be a lot of vegetables, a lot of protein, a lot of you know, fibers. There should be everything. And it should be colorful. There should be different varieties of vegetables, different babies should have a different colors, and it should be eye appealing. The menu should be eye appealing. Okay, when guests would be reading a menu, he sees, okay, I've got so many vegetables, I've got so many non-veg items, I've got fish, I've got shakes, I've got smoothies, I've got you know so many beverages. So it should be eye appealing for the guests. Menu should be cost effective, it should be affordable for guests and it should be profitable for organization. The menu pricing should be as such which would be appropriate and affordable for the guests. Which will, you know, take a chunk of money out of the pocket because each and every one will look out for the budgets. If you are expensive, the guests will only gain once in your, in your restaurant. Whereas if you know you start serving dishes which are really cheap, you should Look out for the profit of If you are serving your dishes which are not expensive, but at least they should be profitable for the organization or for the outlet. Next is accuracy. Now, accuracy is whatever is mentioned in menu should be there inside the menu. There are small descriptions given under the dish. It should be there inside the dish. Supposedly, you say we cook for high chicken, we temper it with capsicums and onions. And we sprinkle some masalas over there. And when guests order it, he didn't find it. So he would be getting a bad impression. So whenever you are serving the food, it should be accurate as per return in the menu. This will generate a good will in the market. The menu planning importance. Menu is certainly an important marketing tool for any organization. Well, is a menu that introduce guests restaurant. It reveals a lot of things like the image of a hotel, target guest, standard of the hotel. A menu of a five-star hotel would differ from a menu of a roadside eatery that will show the standards. It will so show how the dishes will be served to the guests. Menu can also be viewed as the tool of business which helps in generating return of investment, an important term, return of investment. Now, how would menu be able to uh, generate return of investment? Whenever a guest orders something, he will pay for it. The payment is return of investment. Now, how you are getting
getting the return of investment because the guest has read the menu. If you don't have a menu, guests will say, uh, you know, confused and sometimes he would end up ordering nothing, nothing at all. There you go. So, your investment is your each and everything that you have invested in the restaurant, starting from the building, equipment, cutlery, crockery, table, chairs, gas, electricity, wages, salary, then your ration. Each and everything is your investment. The return of investment is the money that is spent, that is being given by the guest, and that is included by the menu. Now, the factors affecting menu planning, there are different factors. First, the type of establishment, type of menu, season availability, location, type of customers, staff capabilities, equipment availability, kitchen space, menu language, talents of menu, that should be with color, words, and curries. Each and everything should be balanced. How a type of establishment will affect menu planning? Type of establishment plays a significant role in compiling the menu. It is a menu which introduces the establishment to the customer. It should be noticed that a five star restaurant or a five star hotel menu is always different from a small size eatery or a restaurant. In large establishments, the style of serving is different. So the menu dishes are added as per the style of service. Whereas in small organizations only prepare or fast service is provided. The small establishment will provide food which is easy to make, faster to make, easy to consume and fastly consume. They won't you know, uh, open a restaurant for satisfying the guests in each and every way. Whereas a five star hotel or a five star restaurant, the menu will be prepared in such a way that all the senses of guests are satisfied, the ambience should be there, the style of service, they should, should be uh, a touch of luxury in, in service, the food should be like that, the plating should be there, so the accompaniment should be coming, all the things matter. So, a type of establishment also, you know, uh, play a significant role in menu planning. That is a type of menu. Whenever planning for menu, it is imperative for the manager to keep the type in mind. While planning a child menu, it has to be not only full of nutritional value as well as attractive also. There should be a lot of vegetables, shakes, smoothies, which are higher in nutrition. If you are preparing a uh, you know, menu for children, instead of using french fries, you can have a baked potatoes, baked veggies. Again, less of oil, healthier to eat. Parents will love it. So does the children. Change the name of the burgers if you are selling. For example, suppose that you are selling a vegetable burger and so children would decide, oh, we don't eat vegetables. I don't want vegetable. Instead of that, you can have, you can rename the burger as complete empty burger. Same burger, change, change the name. You are giving vegetables inside the burger. It is nutrient. You are serving smoothies or shakes with the burger. Fries are baked. So again, it is a win-win situation. Parents would love it, children would love it. It is full of attractive names, and you would be getting customers repeatedly. You would be getting good profit. And a la carte menu must have ample choice for vegetarians as well as for non-vegetarians. It is self-explanatory. A la carte menu should be elaborated. It should have choice for each and everyone. You won't be only catering to a non-vegetarian person. You will be catering to a vegetarian also. So they should be at the choice. Even TDH or top the book menu should not only consist of numbers of variety, but also dishes from different cuisine. There should be a variety of cuisines also in top of the book, which is also known as buffet. A hospital menu need to have those dishes which are easily digestible and have ample of fibers. If you're making a menu for you know, patients, it should be light on stomach should be easily digestible, dalia or sort of khichdi, juices, soups, these kind of things go good with your hospital menu. These are the different type of menus generally that are being you know, used. A, a la carte menu where you go read the menu in order, a dujon menu that is the menu of the day, a cyclic menu which repeats every week, every month, or every fortnight. A fixed price menu, then there is double the whole, that is a buffet, buffet. 
you've got a beverage menu and you've got a dessert menu. So that's it for the day. Please uh, stay tuned for the next video which would be in continuation of menu planning. For time being, please stay safe, stay at home.